Hello my friends, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, you are going to create a function to hash a user password when it's created. As it stands now, when a user is created, you can see we have the plain password and this is saved inside our database. And if you do that, we are exposing our users to problems. For example, when our database is hacked okay and a person have access to users uh, the user password maybe a user have one password for all his account and we are trying to expose that so to avoid that we are going to make use of a package called bcrypt.js to hash the password and save the hash one inside our database so and even though when our database is hacked we don't expose such user so let's get started so inside my project, let's install that package to yarn at bcrypt.js. Okay, so while we are waiting for it to install, let's go to our user um, route here. This is the logic. We are going to pass in the plain password coming from our request body into bcrypt, and bcrypt will hash it and then save that hash password inside our database here. I can create the function here to take in the plain password, but I don't want to cluster this route. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going inside my user model, okay, and on the user model, Mongoose give us some middlewares, pre and post middlewares before user is created, we can do something, okay. So we're going to make use of that. So above here, let's import the package we installed, like so okay so we are going to make use of middleware given us by mongoose okay so that middleware is called then on the user schema we have access to this method pre or post pre means that before saving the user we can do something so before saving the user we need to hash the user password and this is a function that takes in two arguments the one is the name of the middleware which is save, right? And the function to run. I'm making use of async function here. And this one, remember, I have to make use of the normal function because of this keyword, right? If you make use of uh, an error function, you have access to this keyword. So we are going to make use of the normal function, okay? And all what we need here is next because when a user is created, we need to move into the next middleware in our route. Okay. So here, um, let's try to this requirement from bcrypt. We need to create a sort. Let's see that const sort is equal to await. And then bcrypt dot gen sort. Okay. And this takes in the number of rounds that is going to generate the sort normally by convention is 10 according to the recommendation from bcrypt package and next is that we are going to take the user password okay and then pass into a function called bcrypt.hash so let's take the user this refers to the current user who has been created so if you go to our route this user represents um the new user that we are creating so if you doubt let's try to do something here so before that, let's try to console log the log this. This refers to the instance of the user who has been just created. Okay, so let's do that. So let's try to change the email here to let's say three. Save it. Okay, I think I have an error. Sorry, I have not running my server. So let me run my server like that and then create the user again. So let me send again. Okay, when it's created, let's try and see inside our console, right? I think um, DB is not connected. So let's wait for a while. Okay, it's good. As you can see, as soon as it's connected, you have the user created. You're going to take the user password. That is this dot password. Okay, so if you doubt, it's this dot password like that. So let's try to change here again and make it four. So that you can create. So after it's created, let's go to our terminal. Okay, as you can see, we have 22. 
who is the password and we want to hash this password so this is how we're going to do it we will say that this dot password okay is equal to await and we create have a function a function called hash and the hash takes in the new password and then we pass in the salt like that when you have this one then you move on to the next middleware like that so now everything is good let's try to save a user so let me change to done four and sorry five here and then change this one to five here now let's look at the password that will come out come back from the response as you can see now we have the hash password and this is now saved inside the database we can go to uh, compass and then check again to see that this is a plain password that has been this is a hash password that was just created so let me add let me put sorry let me um where is the okay let me connect my compass i explain how to connect your application using compass so if you don't know how to do that one you can you can check my previous videos on how to connect mongodb to your application okay so whilst we are waiting for you to load that is how we create what a user and hash a password using bcrypt.js okay i think it's taking a long time so okay i think connection refuse uh let me pa pass in the my connection string which for my config um, db connection and which is this one okay my connection string so let me pass in into my compass and then run again okay and you can see our collection called users and we can check for the user who has just created eight password has been hashed and saved inside our database okay so why is load let's check our console if there is no error good we are good to go right so let's go to bookkeeping application here we have one collection called users right we see the previous one we have the plain password here so the last one we created as you can see this one and we have it as hashed so guys that is how you create a user and hash the password